But Let's here go. we go for YouTube. What up, YouTube? How you and doing? we're going live for the podcast. You know how we how we do the intro, right? Business balls. There you go. There it is. <laughs> All right, we're going live for the podcast in three, two, one. Welcome to another episode of Business Balls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Juices flowing, <laughs> energy rolling, Everybody. ready to rock and roll. Mm. In. Oh, in? Ready to rock and roll in. Oh, rock and roll in. I was like, in yeah. what? What are we in? We're I don't in. know. You, you in the like, middle of the week. That's what we're in. <laughs> oh, we're, we're, we're in the almost end of the week. It is uh, SHIT for those of you who know Rock 105.3. So happy it's Thursday. Oh, All right. okay. All right. I, I was well, wondering where you were going with that. Hey, man, for I, sure. Yeah, well, I like so, I welcome that. everybody to the show. First of all, we are honored to be. Uh, presenting our very second, our very second uh, pipeline agent, one of our very own uh, pipeline agents, Mr. Nate Marine. Uh, he has been with Pipeline for about a year now. Yes, sir. Full year. Yeah, actually. yeah, full year. So uh, really kicking ass. A uh, young guy, really, really rocking the show with uh, insurance and everything that he's been doing. Uh, so we're gonna be excited to learn a little bit of history about this man and uh, you know a lot of good stuff. But before we get into that, Hernan, tell us about our everyday. Promos. 365 pairs of shoes is what we're looking for. Uh, you can see them right behind me. 365 pairs of gently used closed toed shoes. Um, if you want to get them new, you can get them new. You want to get them used, you can get them used. We're just looking for donations. 619-884-0045 or james at csfirst.com and he'll ride over on his Harley. Go over there, pick those shoes up for you. Make sure we do a little Instagram story. You don't have to, but it'd be kind of cool to show off that uh, you know you're you're contributing to this donation to this cause and we really 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 appreciate all the donations we've had so far and all the donations that are going to be coming here in the very near future because we know that 365 shoes ain't nothing and our very generous listeners our very generous guests are all going to contribute we're going to rock that goal and then some boom second Ooh, may 10th is right around the corner. What's May 10th? May 10th is the Real Estate Expo. Oh. So if you are a real estate agent and you want to go to the Expo, the uh, the SDAR is giving away free tickets. Um, Mike Russ is going to have a booth there, and I'm going to be there at the Mike Russ booth. So come hang out with me on May 10th at the uh, Real Estate Expo. Yeah, if you're, you're not in real estate, it'd be kind of good to know some real estate agents because there's always a network of connections in multiple different types of businesses that business owners know of. So go mingle with some people. And uh, yeah, that's going to be happening May 10th. Cool? Outstanding. All right. All right. Is that it for our promos? That's it for our promos. All right. At least for starters. And uh, yeah, make sure that you... I don't know. Where are you going? What else? I don't know. I was <laughs> Just make sure you have that on your calendar. May 10th oh, yeah. sounds like a pretty good idea. Knock it on your calendar for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, dude. So check it out. Um, I'll start off with a conversation with something funny. So uh, today, as a matter of fact, I started the section in class on auto insurance. Ah. So we talk about like bodily injury, property damage, personal injury protection, all these different things, right? And every year I always start this conversation with the students with like, all right, guys, you guys are 16, 17 years old. Tell me anything that you've seen in your life like – have you had a traffic accident and like maybe you bumped the car, maybe you have a ticket or something? What's going on in your world like to share, right? Mm -hmm. Funniest story, dude. I'm not going to name any names because she might be listening. <laughs> but she was like, well, this one time. All right. <laughs> right. You know, the stories always start off good when they go, well, this one time. She said, um, well, what would happen insurance wise if I did this? She said, boyfriend cheated on her. She was pissed off at him. So she went and grabbed some... Uh, warm poo oh, <laughs> took it to the car and put the poo under the door handles <laughs> oh my door, god and then cleaned up the handle so you wouldn't be able to tell oh <laughs> i was like dude first of all that was funny right that was Hell funny yeah. right yeah second i was like okay well i mean that's a great story and all but what i really want to know what did this guy do to you <laughs> you deserve <laughs> that right she said he cheated on her. <laughs> well, yeah, I didn't know that at the time. But that's what he was. Oh, okay. That's what I was thinking. I was like, okay, well, okay, that's a great story. I don't know how much uh, insurance-wise, how much damage that's going to cause. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably not worth it to make a claim at that point. No. But that was one of those things where it was like, you know, at least we're getting the discussion going. <laughs> insurance, believe it or not, is a fun thing. 
Right? That's a, kind of a S I H I T T Y start though for that one. It is for that one. It's pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty shitty start. So for happy one. it's Thursday, Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Thursday, Thursday. All right. <laughs> so happy it's Thursday, thir- Thursday, Thursday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, uh, in all reality, like uh, if you're part of the Pipeline family, we we like to have fun. Right. Facts. No, I we, know that. Right. If you're part of the pipeline family, we like to have fun, mm-hmm. and that includes our clients. By the way, we like to involve our clients and and you know partners that we do do business with. Um, Nate, you got any cool stories about what we uh, what's been like being part of the pipeline family? I can tell you for a fact that I've had fun with the pipeline time with the pipeline family, and also kind of apart from them, just from what you guys allow me to kind of learn and bring to my clients. Um, Recently, I know you guys have actually been kind of in, uh, including the whole pipeline team in with your clients, like their little mm-hmm. properties, their businesses, going out to bars, happy hours. I've tried to make a little point to kind of go out with some of my clients. And sometimes it's, you know, good news. Sometimes it's, you know, bad news. Because it seems like most of my clients tend to hit me up when they need me, which yeah. is always good because I'm always here for my clients. But yeah. it's like, I want to see you guys, you know, when you guys are good. I want to see you guys are happy. I don't want to see you guys when you're all like, I just got into an accident. Someone hit me. I'm like, I'm here. I'm there. That's why I'm there. But no, I have feelings too, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can ask me, how are you doing today? What's up? You know, that, that is, I don't charge for that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, dude. Um, and that's one of those things. We always talk about having that powerful relationship, right? Building that relationship with people. Mm-hmm. And that's important, dude. Because because when, t- when you go out and talk to the clients and you have fun with them, you break bread with them, you have yeah. drinks with them, like... When insurance comes up, they know who to call. Yes, they do. Right? I mean, tell me, like, when you first started with us, it was kind of a struggle, huh? It was scary, man. I came from a freeway insurance where I I love that company. It was a great company. Um, but I was I was never my own agent. I couldn't do my own thing. Leads were bought for you, huh? Leads were bought for me. Everything was provided. And I'll admit, I kind of was, like, you know, stuffed. You know, everyone was giving it to me. But I just wasn't my own agent. And coming here, you guys allowed me to be my own individual guy. And I think that's really, really brought a lot into the team. Or brought a lot into, I guess, my personal life in there. And that's really good. Dude, that so parallels the uh, the real estate world. Because mm-hmm. there's a lot of real estate agents out there that they get their license. They get into the business. Mm-hmm. And the first thing they do is they go and hit up like Zillow or Realtor.com. And they're buying their leads. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with buying their leads if you really factor out what it costs per lead and when you finally close it, when you end up spending. But they kind of get trapped in this cycle because A, they're buying the lead. B, they haven't got the experience of actually talking to these people and closing them. Mm -hmm. So they have all this money being put out to generate leads when leads could be generated without buying them. That's it, man. By actually picking up the phone, talking Mm -hmm. to people, knocking on doors, talking to people, or going to clients and saying, hey, man, what's up? How's it going? going How you been? Just being friends. Mm -hmm. All right, so tell me a little bit about uh, how, how did that change for you? So you went from like hand fed business mm-hmm. to all right i'm taking the leap i'm gonna go out in business on my own it was a really really big jump i mean i came from like i said just being hand fed led hand fed leads as you can tell guys i'm a little nervous these guys are like uh, stars to me so i'm just a little <laughs> starstruck so if i do tend to like, jumble my words please forgive me but uh back to your question i it was a huge he was a huge adjustment i mean i went from kind of just having my group of people that used to come. I mean, mm-hmm. over there, even though you're hand-fed, you still like to develop your relationship with of your course, clients. Of course, of course. And what I really appreciate is that some of those clients, after I told them, I was like, hey, I'm leaving, I felt like I had developed just enough of a relationship with them where some of them were like, okay, cool, you know what? I'll hit you up in the future if I need you. Yeah. And they would refer me some clients and they would things like that. And that was, I think, what really helped me out in the beginning. Because it wasn't like, you know, I was just completely on my own. I, there were times when I did go you know, walk out there, you know, I would walk up bro- up and down Broadway and East Street, which are shoes close to me. Mm-hmm. And I would literally say, hey, how are you doing today? My name's Nate. I just opened up my insurance office. And um, yeah, let me know if you need anything. Just, yeah, just, just starting the conversation. It was starting like that. But at the same time, though, it was, I love Pipeline. It's an amazing company. But it was just, it didn't have a lot of recognition in the places that I was going. Right. So it was, it was really, really awesome being like the first breath of air that these guys were hearing and it was actually surprising because where i'm at in chula vista i was actually surprising as i was walking i think there was one shop that actually was already insured by pipeline so i knew that you guys kind of had a foot over there and from that one shop it actually helped me close some other deals so hey, non do you know where his office is i actually don't know where his office is exactly it's right in the same block where our first pc cruiser's office was oh is so, it by that no, denny's no, shopping I, center 
Yeah. It's right yeah. by. Dude, in that right Denny's in, shopping right center in between on there? East Street, oh, yes. where the Taco Bell is? Yes. Okay, that is where we had our PC Cruiser store. PC Cruisers. Yeah, right there. Oh. It's actually, there's a there's a Chinese food place. The I don't Dragon know if the Chinese. Express. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. We were right next door to the Dragon Express. No. Yep, that was us, dude. Oh, my God. He ate. He's right next to the Wendy's. No yes. way, dude. That's so close. <laughs> That's funny, man. See, look, you even got the PC Cruiser's license plate up there. Woo! So it's still there. It's still part of our. It's it's de- it's huge part of our history. Dude. I can see that. I man. mean, it's it that to me was college. When I first actually started listening to the podcast, when I first heard that there was a business bros, I like to kind of keep things in order. So I started from the very very beginning, and that was the first <laughs> thing you guys started talking about. I was like, what? These guys are young, doing business, running around fixing computers, and then he leaves for the navy. Yeah, dude, that was our first epic fail, dude. To be honest, How that was, was that a big. Ep- I didn't know that was an epic fail. That was a huge success in my eyes, guys. You guys went out there. You guys did it. I mean, from there, that was actually one of the things that first inspired me to kind of go out and start walking and just saying what's up to people. Yeah. And at first, I'll admit, it didn't didn't work out as much as I thought it would plan. Because you didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to say. Yeah. You guys had someone else on this podcast, and they had said something like, I was I was a real estate agent, brand new. I didn't even know his name. I forget his name. But I was brand new, and I would just walk up to people's houses and just say, hey, with this piece of paper, do you want me to sell your house? Yeah, that, that was me. I would go up to people and be like, I have this insurance company. No one's ever heard of it. It's brand new, but let me go ahead and cover your cars. Let me cover <laughs> everything. And well, just a little helpful hint. You don't got to say the brand new part. You yeah. just say oh, what it is you do. I don't say that anymore. No, <laughs> I don't say that anymore. And we're technically not brand new. We're technically, uh, I don't know, 2009 is when we started. Ooh, 10 so, years. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 10 years old. But we've normally focused our attention on commercial. Mm-hmm. So as a, on the residential, or I mean, on the you know personal line side, it wasn't as prevalent. No. Because even then, people wouldn't know pipeline insurance. They would know Mercury or they would know Progressive yes. or they would know the companies that we sell, mm-hmm. not necessarily the brand that they that they're associated with, the brokerage. Most people don't even understand that that's how it works. I deal with that every single day. And it's actually it's good that you say that because... Since you guys primarily focused on commercial, I came from just a complete auto and personal uh, home industry. And for me, to this day, I still have people that are like, oh, you know, I have a, I have Infinity or I have Kemper or I have Dairyland, but they don't know who they get it through. Yeah. And I feel like that's actually a very, very big thing that I just want to kind of stress right now. Whoever you have your insurance through, it's the best thing you have that you can kind of just have that connection with your agent. Because that agent's going to be your main person for everything. That is your lifeline. I've had clients who will come and they'll complain because they'll say, hey, I, I spent hours and hours. These are, com- these are clients from you know past companies. And they'll say, hey, um, I've spent hours on this one call trying to get, just find out this one thing. I'll be on the call for like five minutes and I'll call them with them. Five minutes later, everything's resolved. I call back the client. They're like, what happened? Well, that's, that's the difference of hiring a professional, yeah. right? Because a professional knows, like, if, if you go out there and you're trying to sell your house by yourself, for example, you don't know what you don't know. No, you and don't. that's going to come back to bite you. If you do something wrong, you're ultimately liable. You hire a professional and they know a bunch of things. Things like, well, we have to make sure that your title's clear. Oh, there's a lien on the title? Oh, we need to take care of this, right? There's all these different aspects in the sale of a property that can go wrong. Mm-hmm. Same thing with insurance. Yes. You have so many different questions. There are so many different risks. There are so many different coverages. Why is my why you know why am I paying for uninsured motors? Why am I paying for you know personal uh, pro- whatever it is? Everything. You know what's full coverage? There's no such thing as full coverage, Dude, right? Bad word. That is a horrible, horrible, just made up word. Full coverage. You're right, it, mm-hmm. it, and, and that's the thing, though. These are little, you know, I don't know. I want to say non-professional terms that came up, but they grew like wildfire. Yeah. Flyer, wild fire. There we go. You get it exactly. Um, same thing. Like in the tax world, people are like, "Oh, well, I, I complete the long form." I'm like, "Really? There's no such thing as a long form. There's a 1040, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it has a lot of schedules on it. If you <laughs> want to go that route, but there's no, you know, there's no long form because there's actually a medium form. If you go that route, there's <laughs> a 1040EZ, 1048, 1040, <laughs> right? So, uh, you know, there's again, a professional is worth their weight in gold if they can help you save time and get answers for you. Yes. I mean, think about it. I don't know what that person made for a living, but if they gave up two, three, four hours of their day, let's say they're making ten bucks hour right that's, that's 40 hours they're making 30 bucks that's like, you know 120 dollars that they've just given up of their time to solve a reason? problem that took you five minutes for what reason for I mean, what reason people come to us they put their trust in us and then they just leave it at that and then they try to take care of things in themselves which i like it you guys more power too if you guys want to handle it yourself but that's why we're here 
insurance agents, you come to us, we take care of you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We've had we've had agents, uh, well, uh, mortgage people that send us stuff because um, of the podcast. And they send us stuff like, hey, we need help. Can we get this right away? And we handle it like, I mean, we turn it around real quick for them. And then they're like, oh, but, you know, maybe it's in this fire area. And, you know, James will hop on the horn. He'll just be like real quick. Okay, cool. Let me fix this and this and this. And you're set and you're ready to go. And you're rocking and rolling. And you have all the answers for you like minutes minutes that's the power of having someone who knows man and i want to give you actually a shout out to james i like james as my personal auto coach because any question i ever have for him he automatically either knows or he'll say my favorite thing which kind of stole from him. i'll get back to you i'll just, i don't know it right now but i'll find out for you that's dude that's an integrity that's an honesty thing because mm-hmm. as a professional even professionals we don't know everything no we don't right and 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 i like to say that i don't even have an original thought in my head like <laughs> i am i am a culmination of books that we've read audios youtubes you know everybody else's opinions movies that i've watched whatever my parents influence all that stuff all that culminates in my head so once in a while i can figure out you know where this quote came from but sometimes i don't and i just kind of make it my own i incorporate it and make it my own but if you don't know what the answer is don't fake it and no. just come up with something. Just tell people. People are cool with you saying, you know, I don't, you know, that's a very good question. I don't know the answer to that. Let me get back to you. Yeah. Right. And then get back to them. And it, it helps you as well because from that one question you don't know, next time someone asks you that, you're going to have the answer right there. Yep. Mm-hmm. You're going to, because you did the research. Mm-hmm. Right. And uh, so tell me a little bit about um, once you did join Pipeline, what was that, what was that training like? I like the training. The training for me is, um, it's very, very different because at any company I've worked before or anything I've ever done, it's kind of they just sit you in a little room, you're stuck at a computer, and you just click, click, click. That's it. That's all training is. But with, Next slide. Yeah, next, next slide. slide. Next, <laughs> next slide. Yeah, and you have uh, they, they kind of push you on finishing it, Yeah. but you never know what you did. You're just <laughs> like, there you go. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're yeah. Just like, cool. I got this piece of paper that says I finished. I, I passed uh, Burger King University. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh Burger King University. I, that was my first job, actually, by the way. <laughs> so, I, I, BKU. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! If everyone put on weight fast, go just go go work there. Two months. <laughs> two months. Two months. What do you want? Fries. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to drink? Soda. <laughs> hey, anytime you ever have your food made at a fast food place and it takes longer than usual, it's probably getting eaten. Just yeah. one or two pieces. You don't know. It's. <laughs> oh, they they gotta test it though, guys. You, you really want to have the best quality of food. Yeah, that's the reason why. Oh man, <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> You're scaring me now. Uh, oh, boy. No, no, no. All right, that's it. No more fast food yeah, for us. Yeah, no more fast BKU, food. BKU, sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, but um, back to the training. I really do like the uh, the personal touch to it. I mean, there are times when I can hit up James, and even though I may be sick once in a while, when we do actually get down together, there I have no questions after it. And I'll actually, I have learned to kind of set up my questions with James and just like, a, hey, these are the three things I need. If you got answers for me, cool. If not, I'll wait for them. But as long as we got these three things off my checklist, that's all I need to ask for right now. Yeah, dude. And and that's, that's I mean, kudos to him because he really does develop a system. Like, if you want to get a hold of him, it's really quick and easy, right? Mm-hmm. Via text, via email, or you can even schedule a time. Yes, you can. Right? And that's that's kind of how we put our training system in order because we want to make sure that that our agents have the the most accessibility to get their questions answered as as quick and as fast as possible. That turnaround time is important because you got a client where there, yes, either can. literally sitting there, or you got an answer that you need to get back to them at, with, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, one of the things we've been promoting on the podcast is adding uh, mortgage. Uh, adding uh, insurance to things like mortgage companies or real estate companies or you know tax offices and so you know one of those hard things is well i don't really know what i'm going to get into i don't really you know i they have all kinds of questions about you know adding that sort of line of business what was it like for you getting your license for example well for my personal lines license uh, that was actually paid for me and it was it was actually pretty fun i mean i'll admit I'm not one to pass it on the first set try. I don't have that little gold sticker on my back. But oh, I wait, you're not a super genius? I'm not a super genius. I'm just okay. a regular genius. I passed it on my second time. Right? <laughs> okay, okay, regular it was, genius. It was, it was a C's <laughs> kind of to get, get degrees kind of thing. So I, I passed. That's all I can say. That's it. Um, but, but after that, I will admit getting my life license, my P&C license, 
Those were fun. The PNC license, I, I don't care what anyone says, is one of the hardest tests I've ever taken. And it took me three <laughs> times to do it. But on that fourth time, I passed. <laughs> there you go. So, third time wasn't my charm, but fourth time was. But you can add. And, and, and now you're to the point where, like, money comes in that you earned in the past. Mm-hmm. Right, that's what I'm enjoying right now. Residual income. Residual income, and I, I and we got to be honest, it's not an overnight thing. No, it's not. It is for having your own business. My dad actually did the same thing. He had his own business, and he set up a, actually a half a million dollar book of business with Mercury in just under two years. I'm not my dad, but I got to give him credit. Um, I think right now we checked him at 130. Mm -hmm. This is my first year, and um, I wasn't expecting to do that. I actually think I've superseded what I thought I was going to do, but I know for a fact that I still have a long, long way to go. So for those of you who don't understand how insurance works or how, how commissions are paid, so when you pay, when you go to an insurance office and they give you a quote, let's say it's $1,000 is going to be your auto insurance premium for six months or whatever it's mm -hmm. going to be, right? You earn a commission on that amount of money. So it could be, depending on the carrier, it could be 10%, 15%, 20%, depends on the line of business or whatever it is. So let's use easy numbers, for example. So if you make $1,000 premium, you're going to earn $100, and that's going to be every six months or so yep. from that particular client. And then that client, every year that they renew, every time they pay their bill, you're going to get that 10%. Every single time. So when he's saying he's got $130,000 in premium that he wrote within year one, he's saying, okay, based on the premium amount, I'm going to earn a commission. And every time those clients stay with him and renew, he's going to be paid that year over year over year. So what happens is next year or going forward, mm -hmm. your job is to maintain those client relationships and increase your client base. Yes, sir. And that's where the residual income comes in. It's just a long-term, it's a more of a long-term gain. Every year, it's like you're giving yourself a pay raise. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of insurance. That is the beauty of it. It is hard, but I mean, you just, you kind of get used to it. I, I feel like that's the reason why also I really do admire it. And I see now why people do a lot more commercial insurance. Because even those deals, even though those deals are a bit harder to get, the fact that you've now put in more time, more personal care, and just have that better relationship with that client. First of all, let's be honest, the commissions are just a tiny bit bigger, but that you've put in that time with that business, that business isn't going to leave you. Right. And honestly, it's also because now you care about that business. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You want it to succeed. You yes, have a vested yeah. interest with all the time that you put yeah, in. you do. Well, here's the other thing. Okay, auto insurance they flip on a dime pretty quick, yeah. right? It's all about price. Whoever's cheapest. But homeowners policies, mm -hmm. those tend to stay on the books for quite some time. Yes, they do. Right? So lenders out there, mortgage people out there, if you're interested in expanding your book of business, I don't know how many transactions you go through in your office. You know, I've heard numbers such as like 40, 50, 80 transactions a month. If you're getting some of those homeowner policies written in and you're keeping them on the books, you're growing your book of business for every transaction that's brought to your table anyways. That's like amazing. That. If, you're, if you're in mortgages and you don't have an in-house insurance person, mm -hmm. you're just leaving money on the table. That is true. Plus, you said actually taxes. I think taxes is going to be my next license that I'm going to try to go ahead and inquire. Dude, so. it's, uh, taxes is another one. You already have all the client information in front of you. You literally sit down with the client every single year and you say something like, so how was your year? And they're going to tell you, you know, my, my wife died, my husband died, my, I got married, my kids were born, my kids moved out, my kids went to college, all these different things. I bought a house, I sold my car, all these things that they don't know for sure if they have a taxable consequence, they're telling you. And the more that you know about, the more opportunities, the more licenses you have, the more you can earn on a referral base. Mm -hmm. It just makes more sense. You're a tax preparer. Why is that the only thing that you have? Maybe you don't want to do insurance. It's not your thing. You don't want to do it. But you should definitely have somebody in-house. Yes, you should. You should definitely have a connection with somebody. We have, I don't know, what's our number at, James, right now? 46, 46 agents, something like that? Yeah, somewhere so, in there. It's somewhere around there. Let's if you 50. need help with, right? Let's get to 50. Let's get to 50. <laughs> Let's get to 50. But, you know, Nate is one of those people, if you're in San Diego and you need help getting homeowner stuff, maybe you don't want to do insurance yourself, but you want to refer it out, go get your insurance license, send all the business to somebody who does want to do the referral business, and then with, since you have a license, he can pay you. 
You love that. I got that. Right? I love it. Just, it just totally makes sense. So, you know, there's there's so many things in this world that networking and understanding how everybody's business works yes. that you can collab and make a lot of money together. You had a tax office, maybe they have a thousand clients. That's a thousand clients that mortgage people can fish out of. Mm-hmm. That's a thousand clients that insurance people can fish out of, but you're hoarding them all in your tax office. Well, why why not? Why? why not open your doors so that you too can be paid? So that your client benefits. They already trust you. So you go out and build relationships with people that you trust to help them. That's why. It's a win win scenario. It's a one stop shop. That's all you got to be. I mean, the more tools you have under your belt, the more people you can help out. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That is why every single client that I ever get a business with, I ask them, say, hey, before we do anything, let me get your cards. Let me go ahead. And whoever I see, I want to pass out your card. Whatever I can do to help your business grow, let's do it. It's a win. Mm-hmm. It's a win. Bringing value. Yeah. Bringing value. That's what, I mean, that's really what it's all about because we want to make sure that, I mean, that that is what our podcast is about, right? We want to make sure you get exposure. We want to make sure we kind of sit down. Maybe it's a therapy session. Maybe we kind of vent out. I don't know. Every, every single episode takes us in a different direction, but all of them are geared towards bringing service, bringing quality uh, content, something that might spark in your mind like, you know what? That's a great idea. I should be contacting my tax offices. Yeah. I should be talking to my accountants. I should be talking to this payroll company. Uh, there's so many opportunities out there. You just got to make them happen. Yes, sir. All right. Well, that's what we do here. I mean, here at Pipeline, we try to reach out to other businesses, help them out. And we offer our own network as well. I mean, I think our network is getting a lot bigger. We oh, dude. Payroll too now, right? Yeah, we've added we've added a lot. We've, uh, we, and I mean, group health, group yeah, health, health. Aflax yeah. coming to the family. To yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out to Heather. Heather. Oh, Aflax. and the uh, MediXL program, all the that good stuff. MediXL. Aflac. Dude, Aflac. MediXL is kind of a cool thing. I need to know about this one because I mean, look, I'm here in Pipeline. I don't even know about this stuff. So yeah. Well, Wait, what? I, yeah, you don't know I'm, about MediXL. I'm bad. I'm bad. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hold on. Okay, let's. Oh boy, you're gonna get me in trouble now. Uh, oh boy. See, I mean, I mean, not really get me in trouble, but you know, we do have a lot of training available. Yes, we do. So we'll talk about that later. Yes. On. So you're in trouble. I'm in trouble. <laughs> right. You're no. you're you're getting yourself in trouble. Okay, I so know. look, Medi XL. Right. I got excited for Affleck too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I've been Affleck, talking to Jonathan all day. Affleck is awesome. Affleck is awesome. That little duck. Come on. Yeah, quack. Come on. No, dude, it does. It, I mean, but these are all cool things that are part of the pipeline family, right? So, yes, so Medi XL. For f- by the way, any of you out there have small businesses and want to take advantage of this, let us know. Hit me up, Hernan at csfirst.com or James at uh, csfirst.com, and he'll get you all the details you want to know about this. But Medi XL. So, um, health insurance in this country is super expensive. Yes, right, it is. and health insurance in this, in this country is mostly preventative health care. Right, yes. so you can go to Kaiser, you go get your physical done, you go, you know, for like quick little urgent care stuff. You're ready to rock and roll. Um, problem is, it costs you thousands of dollars a month, yes. especially if you have a family. It can get really, really expensive. So what this? Uh, what was it called again, James? Medi Medi XL Medi XL M E D I E X C E L. So there are we are so close to the border that we I know of a lot of people that just go and get all the stuff done over there yes because it's so much less expensive yep but if there's an emergency they're really hurting when they go to the ER here yeah so what MediXL says is this is a new plan it's way cheaper and if you can take all your preventative care and you take that and do it on the other side of the border we'll cover that but if you have to go in an emergency room mm-hmm. we'll cover that here ah okay and that's you know that's something that people are already doing, mm. and now they got coverage. Now they don't have to pay for all this stuff when they go to Mexico. It's covered through the MediXL. Mm. And if something does happen, kid breaks his arm, or you know you got a gash or something like that, and you got to go to the ER here, you're covered. See, I needed that. That's just beautiful right there. I mean, I, don't I need to go training. By the way, that was all I needed. <laughs> I'm about to go get everyone on the MediXL. <laughs> I mean, dude, it makes a big difference, right? Yep. And and you you have health insurance now. Now you're now you're covered. Now you're now you're good to go. Now you can take advantage of the Sentry Pass, no problem. Let's be honest. I mean, how oh, many yeah, people actually, who are in San Diego are going to take advantage of that? That's that's a pretty good, great well, deal. Well, check right this out. I was going to say, if you don't already have a Sentry Pass, Ooh. MediXL will actually pay for fifty percent of it. What? 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 Just saying, dude. Whew. And all right, so and and not just, dude. I mean, there's all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, you know a little bit more about the Aflac plan too, about association for association. No, but Nate does. I do actually. I've been talking to Jonathan a little bit. So that right there, I don't want to step on anyone's toes, but I did ask Jonathan. I was like, "Hey, Jonathan, I, I'm Mexican. 
All right, I'm here from San Diego. Of course, we all know that everyone goes down to Mexico every once in a while to go ahead and get something taken care of. And I did find out that also on the medical, they do cover down in uh, Mexico too. Affleck. Affleck? Yes, sir. They do cover it. They also have a vision plan, which I thought was really, really nice. Um, and then one of the other things that I know that they had, do, 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 dental. Dental is actually pretty good, but that's the only thing they don't cover in Mexico. And this is a supplemental plan, though, right? Mm-hmm. That is a okay. supplemental plan. So, so, but let me ask you for for because it's it's good for like if I get injured, mm-hmm. right? Affleck will cover me. They they're like huge on that down that thing, um, on the disability coverage, right? Yes. So, um, do they? You know, what's their association with? What's their connection with associations and groups? Like, you don't have to have like a large you business, not, right? You do not. Actually, I found out right now that in order to go ahead and qualify for the group plan, all you need is three people, and it doesn't have to be the same plan. It can be three different plans. You could have one person just get the disability, one person get the cancer policy, one person get the vision policy. That qualifies for a group. Crazy. Mm-hmm. So, in other words, if I have a brokerage, yeah, for example, and I want to offer. Aflac to my my real estate agents, yeah. they can hop on board. And it's super cheap too. I mean, I'm a little younger, so for me, I don't think I get sick or you know get hurt too much, um, unless it's like a like a Friday night or something. But <laughs> uh, besides that, besides that, um, no, I think their their premiums are actually really really affordable. Plus, what I like that they do about it is that instead of, let's say you get paid bi-weekly, mm-hmm. they can break it up for you bi-weekly. So, I don't know, instead of paying like 30 bucks, you can pay 14 bucks. That's, that's not that bad, dude. That's way that's better. That's vision. That's everything. Uh, one thing I like about their vision, go ahead and kind of just give them a little, little bit of credit on here. And this is because I do appreciate the fact that Jonathan took time out of his day and to go ahead and meet with me. And anyone who's looking into Aflac, um, anyone here at Pipeline as well, well, they actually, Jonathan will go ahead and go out to you guys and explain everything better than I can. So Yeah, of course. And that's the beauty of working with, with these carrier reps. Yeah. Cause because they'll come out and be the professional alongside you. Yes, they will. Right. So again, if you want to add insurance to your business repertoire, I mean, we got the greatest training. We got the great connections with our carrier reps. You can have a somebody literally hold your hand and walk you through these presentations to help you get to a point where you're successful and profitable and making money in this business. Really, really is. Which is beautiful. Which which is beautiful. Mm-hmm. I mean, dude, what else do you want? You don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. It's it's a it's a it's a beautiful thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, real estate professionals, mortgage professionals, so many opportunities for you guys. Normally, I interview uh, real estate people in in their world, mm-hmm. um, and I haven't really had the opportunity, or maybe I haven't pressured the opportunity into talk about stuff like this, but. Every time I talk to them, I know that there's so many opportunities within what you're already doing. Yes. All you got to do is plug it in. That's all. All you got to do is plug it in. We have the system in place for you to just plug in and get stuff ready to earn an extra revenue. Dude, we live in San Diego. It's, it's super expensive here. It is. It's not cheap. Man. Having one source of income Mm-mm. is not the way to go. You got to have the multiple streams. If you yes. have if you have ways of earning multiple streams of income that are, that are not dependent on one source i mean dude the fact that you have you a client is going to come in and they're going to spend x amount of dollars on tax preparation on on uh insurance all these different things and if you have an avenue to scoop them up they're just going to trust you we talk about branding all the time we talk about creating that micro brand of a person that they get to know one of the unique things about being a tax professional which is totally weird and maybe it's just a cultural thing but you know mexican too um as soon yeah as, yeah i know i look asian right <laughs> so as soon as you uh sit down with somebody as a tax professional they assume you know everything about money that's that's the beauty of that right See? they assume you know you want to talk retirement yeah i know all that stuff mm-hmm. apparently i know everything about mortgages <laughs> and buying houses and insurance like that that stigma of taxes or, or that brand of taxes mm-hmm. opens you up opens the door because you know things and as long as you're, you know, forthcoming with your client, you're like, you know what? I don't, I'm not a professional in that area, but I know a professional. I'll Let me get you in contact yeah. with them. That's Dude, it how makes it all works. the difference That's in the exactly world. And Nate is definitely one of those professionals. And speaking of which, we are rounding the bend on time here. So take a look at that camera right there. You have a banner right underneath you. So uh, tell the people how to get a hold of you and uh what the best way is to reach out to you give us you know all your contact info i appreciate that so my direct phone number which you guys can reach me at any time well i do try to stay between the hours of 10 and 10 you guys can call me anytime after that but most likely won't be as professional let's be honest because i will be sleeping 
Um, <laughs> but my phone number is 619-386-0683. You can find me on Facebook as Natividad Marine. Uh, you can also go on Instagram as Nate the Great or Snapchat, which I do not know. But I'll get that out to you guys one day. <laughs> All right. I think once you have, once they have your phone number, I think they can find you on Snap. I think that's the best way to do it. I think that's right? the way it works. So, so yeah, hit them up. You know, get in contact with them. Make him a referral source. He'll turn around and make you a referral source. That's how it works out here. And I will say that the one thing I like to say is that I'm the one person that if you guys have any problem, I, anything at all, just go ahead and drop it by me. I'm going to freak out about it 10 times more than you will. And if I do not find out how to fix it, I will find out for you. And as you can see, I'm with a great team. So I have an amazing network and I'm blessed for that. Thank you. Awesome, brother. Awesome. All right. Quick reminder, ladies and gentlemen, 365 pairs of shoes by the end of the year. That's what we're looking for. So uh, let us know. Let's get those donations in. If you are interested in adding insurance into your business, 619-884-0045, james at csfirst.com. Hit them up. Tell them you're interested. By the way, we'll also take your shoe donations through those same contact infos. Uh, We're there for you. Are you EXP curious, ladies and gentlemen, real estate agents? Has anybody ever told you about it and you just say no automatically, but you ever think that, hmm, I wonder what's actually going on? I want you to text 123EXP to 31996. I'll send you a seven-minute video, and you can check it out for yourself. Make an informed decision before you say no. And then if you're really, really curious, I'd love to sit down and have a conversation with you and see if it's even a fit. So if it is, it is. If it isn't, it isn't. But at least you'll know education and knowing is half the battle. Um, if you guys want to be a guest on the podcast, or heck, if you know somebody who wants to be a pe- guest on the podcast, Hit me up, 619-884-4915, Hernan at csfirst.com, or you can follow us on our social media feeds at Business Bros Pod, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Same handle. That's all we got for you guys today. Peace. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And I'm out. Ciao. Love you, Facebook. Love you, Facebook, Instagram. you rock. Love you, mama. Bye, guys. Love you, mom. <laughs> I like this new angle. It's nice. It's a really good one.